hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i want to style my hair in flat twist no in a flat twist out so i'm going to do the flat twist and then i'm going to twist it out so i'm going to be going for a wedding later today and i'll show you how the hair looks when i unravel it i'm currently in turkey antalya i've come for a friend's wedding so i'm just looking forward to how the hairstyle turns out Initially, I wanted to do like a ponytail, but I'm just having a headache. So I thought I'll just do something that won't put any pressure on my head. So I'll be using the Anjaki's Freeze Patrol Anti-Proof Setting Mousse to do my twist out. It's not the best, like I would prefer to use the Dew because of the moisture and the shine. But I also I already have leave-in conditioner in my hair from yesterday. I blow dried my hair. This is what it looks like because I did not style it after blow drying so i only have a little and i managed to sneak this into my hand luggage by pouring it into another container so that i could still use the pump effect so what i want to do first is to pack the line here So I'll do some flat twists here, going this way, and then I'll do some this way. Then I want to do a few twists at the back of the head. So what I did was pat the line and then do a few single or rather double strand twists without doing flat twists at the back. But that was a wrong idea and you'll see it at the end. And then I came to the front, I put my mousse on and I began to flat twist. I was just flat twisting it to this direction so that it falls on my face. And I just went ahead and flat twisted them in just different directions the way I felt that it would work out so that when I take the flat twist down, it would form a nice style if you get my drift. I carried on flat twisting to this direction, like I had said earlier. Um, so when you are doing a flat twist out, you need to decide how you want the hair to look when you finish the style. So I just carried on like I had said and I'll show you what the finished look looks like. Look at it now. I did some going to the back. I don't even know what I did there. But then after doing my tour, we did a little tour that day and then we came back to the hotel to so that I could take down the hair. I dried the hair out in the sun. Remember, I'm abroad so there was no dryer but it didn't dry well. There was sun but I feel like maybe a hooded dryer may have helped it dry better. So I'm taking down the hair now. So look at how it looks. The curls are forming, but you can see that it's not very dry and that's why it looks like that. But I have to get dressed and go for this wedding because that's the reason we came. There's no way I can I can miss it and I could not change the style at this point. So for me, this was a kind of fail. I mean, a hairstyle fail, but at this point, I wasn't trusting the process, but I had to do it. I really had to just make it work. So 
you can see that the ends are a little bit frizzy and i was getting quite frustrated but we finally i finally did it and we finally got to the wedding venue we ended up getting to the wedding venue so early so i managed to go back to the hotel and then i kind of fixed the hair but this is me just looking at it at the wedding venue so if you look at the back you can see that what i said about the back being long because i did the twist i should have done all of it in flat twist that would have looked much better but I just kind of puffed it out, tucked it in just to make it work. And this is the hair I carried for the wedding. You can see my pictures. I just made it work. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. By the way, this was the next day. This is how the hair looked after I had tied it down and I woke up the next morning. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.